Unless you're into cult films, Vision Channel 4! My top 10, no true romance, silver ain't fiction! Seven, Casino, The Godfathers, all the Bruce Lee's, R.I.P. Same goes for Brandon! Why the good always die young? Two packs, Biggie, Marvin and Marley! Do not sleep! Sleep is the sister of the devil! When I close my eyes to sleep, I pray the Lord takes my soul to keep! That's why I never sleep! Ten ways to stay awake, beginning with C. Chesties, dodos. Condoms, use your imagination. Caffeine, pro plus. Cat, imagination used again. <laughs> Cell phone. C, chat room, computers, and channel four. What more do you need except me? about girls when they take a guy's telephone number say they're gonna call and then don't call girls that doesn't make any sense that's not right because the guys that hurts you know what i mean we're expecting you to call see it's not a problem for me because i've got a girlfriend now but back in my days when i was in the game you know i was, I was the best and i couldn't understand why girls would take my number and not call but i've hung up my boots and we are actually as tight as any other person and that's all i can say so if any of you are thinking of going out with a Chinese girl, just realize this, please. Now on for later, the other side directing porn, which, as you might expect, contains scenes of a sexual nature. Hello, I am His Royal Kindness, and um, it's my job to promote kindness. And uh, at this wee hour of the morn, I'd like to share a little joy with you. Kindness is a virus, and that's how we survive. Kindness will always find us when we're not in you now. shit, diesel fumes, you know, whatever. We get speech and it comes out kind of salty and rather, mm, it's like a tasty, it's, a, it's kind of nice. You go into that countryside during the summer, it's kind of hay and it's kind of green and rather nice. And uh, But the best bits are definitely in the city after a night out, you wake up in the morning, your nose is all dry, and the first thing you do is get your finger up there and just go, oh, lovely. <laughs> Strong language and violence now in four latest cartoon, Sitting Pretty. Now obviously, sex is good. Everyone likes sex. Everyone likes to have sex. But at the end of the day, if you're just running around shagging whatever you can, what really is the point where you could have something real with someone else? Now, personally, I can't be promiscuous. I just can't do it. The amount of times I've left boys holding their dicks just because I've suddenly gone, no, no, fuck, I'm not doing it. You know, and I feel kind of rude, but they'll get over it at the end of the day. And the way I see it, if I'm feeling someone, I'm feeling the way a boy is thinking, then yeah, I'll probably sleep with him. But I prefer to be going out with the boys that I'm sleeping with. If you want a shag, you just call off an ex-boyfriend and get one and not just find some loser off the street. Right folks, at long last, I finally persuaded Hannah and Lucy to give us a wet t-shirt competition, what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> so, are you ready girls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah ready with the water? Go! Oh. <laughs> Mine's wet and you are my everywhere. <laughs> Now for later, which contains strong language and personal opinions. I was in Prague last weekend for an anti-capitalism demonstration and we were outside the meetings of the 
World Bank and the IMF, um, and they were deciding sort of who's going to die and who's going to live. And we were sort of out there just chanting away at the police. And it was amazing because there was loads of different people there from loads of different countries, didn't all speak the same language, weren't all there for the same reasons. But for some reason we actually managed all to get on and it worked out really well. Friends that you haven't met yet, you need to remember that. Next time you get on the train and you see someone, you like the look of them, go up, say hello, don't bug them, fucking say hello. All it takes, you know, no big deal. Say hello. I've got some advice about women. Uh, searching for a woman is really hard. There's got to be things to look for and you've got to know what they are. Eyes, hands, curves, it's all good. It's important. One place, never forget. Feet. Always check out a girl's feet. And if possible, make sure that if there's toe varnish, that the toenail varnish matches the fingers. If they don't, it ain't right. If she's got clothes shoes on, get her to take them off. Have a look at those feet, boys. It's very important. Okay, number five in top ten things that wind me up are people who stare at you on the tube. Because um, it's not a crime to look at somebody, but staring is just out of order. So you're, you're there, right? And um, you notice that someone's been looking at you for a long time. So you look at them, look away, give them a chance to look away, and then you look back. And if they're still looking, then that is staring and that is rude. Okay, if you do the last two steps again and they're still looking at you, then they're mad. Um, if you do the last two steps a third time and they're still looking at you, then they're ill and you need to change carriage, okay? When you are. Um, to the two boys, you know who you are. When I'm walking alone, I'm not asking you to threaten me. I'm simply walking from A to B. When I don't address you, when you tell me that I'm looking good, I don't need you to say, I'm going to follow you and steal your fucking bag, you fucking bitch. It's not brave, you're both bigger than me, and it made me really angry and scared. So don't do it. in people being fitted with indicators. You know, you're trying to walk through a busy street and there's people just kind of meandering around sort of like this and they're just being really annoying. Or you try and go that way and they sort of meander over here and you're just like, oh my God, will you just move? So I think the next thing we should do is fit people with indicators so they can just go, you know, and then, then I don't have to get annoyed while I'm walking and get pedestrian rage, which is really annoying. <laughs> When I was young, the emphasis used to be on having fun. But now it seems to be who the fuck's got the biggest gun. Well, check this. This is my invention. Don't worry about your gun, because you'll need more protection when God starts flexing his doomsday selection. Watch out. <laughs> And I would like to introduce you to the forgotten world of beat music. Get yourself down to your local food fair today and buy some beat records and don't forget to listen to the B-side.
my 30th year, and I've got something to tell you. Being upside down has its advantages. No hair gel required, no runny nose, no tired feet. Being upside down helps me compete with our Olympiads, helps me see our competitive defeats. Being upside down stops your bollocks from getting crushed, keeps JT pointing defiantly. Being upside down gives a new perspective to the world that's around. Thank you. Street performance that hits hard now on Fall Later, Slam contains strong language. I've decided to record this hoping that my dad will see this in future. I'm 20 years old, never seen my dad before. My dad left my mum as soon as my mum told him that she was pregnant with me. So hopefully after this my dad will get to know how I look and who I am. I'm at South Bay University studying civil engineering, hoping one day to see my dad again. Dad, if you're out there, big up. Look after yourself and good luck. Have you ever noticed when you're in a pub that after a substantial amount of alcohol people can become an expert on absolutely any topic? You know, this guy could be like a die-hard dance fan and not know a single thing about any music with guitars in it. But as soon as you mention Pink Floyd, oh, definitely the greatest guitar band in the planet. See that thing he does on that song? Brilliant, brilliant. And you're thinking to yourself, well, what do you know? <laughs> you know, I think what you need to do is if you ever have a really important exam or something you really need to know an awful lot about, get drunk. It will help you an awful lot. And now another chance to see Nigel and Steph in the last in the current series of vids, which contains strong language and scenes of a sexual nature. What flavour have you got? Oriental. What have you Flair. got? Uh, original. What's your favourite flavour? <laughs> message from a four later viewer via fourlater.com forward slash collective. Um, last night I watched Room 101 and it has Anne Robinson in it and she wanted to put Welsh people in because they spoke Welsh and I'm sorry but that's racist. If she said that about Africans or black people that would be racist and she's offended a nation, a friendly, happy nation. Um, Albeit thick, but friendly, happy nation. <laughs> Yeah, and I just Sorry, think that she, she's ginger. Do not sleep, do not sleep, do not sleep. Four later viewers host the next few hours via their webcams and the collective website. If you're interested in putting yourself on Four Later or you're voyeuristic about other Four Later viewers, go to fourlater.com forward slash collective now. As usual, the collective contains personal opinions and strong language. Okay, I'm here to talk about some of the embarrassing things that can happen to you. Um, one of the things, um, if you've ever been on a long flight and you've had a bit of a nap and you wake up, have you ever been in one of those situations where you think, because I don't know why, but you get really sort of windy on the plane and you sort of wake up thinking, I have been sat here just farting all night or all day or whenever you've been asleep and you just look around and you're just thinking, everyone else is like laughing, just going, that girl, that girl, that girl, that girl, the farting, all the, listen, you'll do it again. Do not sleep, do not sleep, do not sleep. 
Do not sleep, 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 do not sleep. Uh, when I was a kid, I had a dog called Henry. Uh, what happened to Henry was he had throat cancer, but we just thought he stank. So uh, we used to feed him mints for about six months, then he just died. Uh, in my family, we have a lot of weird animals that die in strange ways, like Socrates and Archimedes. We have these two hamsters. And uh, Socrates ate Archimedes and left his head poking out of the little house. So uh, when I went up to pick him up, his head rolled out into my hand. So I buried the other hamster the same day uh, because it seemed to have died, but it wasn't dead, it was alive. Do not sleep, do not sleep, do not sleep, do not sleep. Brutality and bravery continue now on For Later with Tony Flaggs, a.k.a. Antonio Banderas, in Matador, which from the outset contains scenes of sexual violence which some viewers may find disturbing. Now another webcam message from a For Later viewer via forlater.com forward slash collective. Here we are in the depths of a Newcastle council housing estate and the plague of these council estates are abandoned children's prams. Here's one now, I'm quite honest. I'm sick of the sight of these pieces of junk. Uh, you alright? I'm okay. It's alright. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. Four later viewers host the next few hours via their webcams and the collective website. If you're interested in putting yourself on Four Later or you're voyeuristic about other Four Later viewers, go to fourlater.com forward slash collective now. As usual, the collective contains personal opinions and strong language. Talking about pop stars, I mean, I wish you'd knock. No bad luck to anybody. That's why I'll see in anything they do. But that girl, what was the name? The one that caught me up and he said about her weight. Kim. Oh, no. She's going to have to handle things a lot better than that. Oh, did she flounce? Did she flounce off and all the rest? Flounce off and all the rest? I mean, if somebody, if millions of pounds are at stake, and somebody said, Julian, you need to lose some weight, I'd sit there and say, OK, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no you would, wouldn't you? You would, wouldn't you? You would flounce she off. She's giving it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do not sleep. Rachel and Trey are joined by Roland Rivron now in their last visit to the land of weird telly in Loves Like a Dog, which contains some nudity. Four later viewers host the next few hours via their webcams and the collective website. If you're interested in putting yourself on Four Later or you're voyeuristic about other Four Later viewers, go to fourlater.com forward slash collective now. As usual, the collective contains personal opinions and strong language. Okay, talking about embarrassing things that can happen to you. And um, one of the things, it's, it's such a little thing, right? But when somebody says something to you and you don't quite hear what they say, so instead of saying, huh? well, sorry, what, mm? pardon, excuse me, you say, <laughs> and then they look at you and just go, well, do you think I'm really out of order for sort of crying because my dog died? And you, and you just like, you just, you just relive the whole situation. You just go, they said, am I really wrong for that? And I just went, <laughs> Do not sleep, do not sleep, do not sleep. Do not sleep.
Now another webcam message from a four later viewer via fourlater.com forward slash collective. I'm really pissed off at all the negative images we get in the media with black people and stuff like that. And it was just, I mean, it just never stops, you know, we get attention to black things from like that. Something could happen in Peckham and stuff like that. We'll be walking down the street, you know, a white person will look at me like I'm going to rub them and stuff like that. And we're not all rubbers, we're not all muggers, we're not all racists and stuff like that, you know. It doesn't get one, you know, negative image of, negative image of one black person, it doesn't mean we're all like that. And people should stop doing that, looking at us differently and stuff like that. So I get on the train, I get people looking like I'm going to pickpocket them and stuff like that. I'm really, really pissed off. Do not sleep, do not sleep, do not sleep. DJ Vince Finn is out of his fishbowl and onto your screen now for his own inimitable brand of bad language and worse humour in Karaoke Fish Tank. Now another webcam message from a four later viewer via fourlater.com forward slash collective. Something's really been bothering me recently. Does anyone remember Supergram? I'm sure you all do. Well, I just can't remember the bean shoes. I even cracked my head open when I was about five, trying to be a super grand. I just can't remember the theme tune, and it's really, really bugging me. The first person to respond to this collective and hum the theme tune, I promise you that I will dance around this room to the theme tune of super grand, dressed up as her. Promise. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. Do not sleep. Hamish and co make it their mission to discover who really shot the president in this week's Pets, which contains strong language. Now another webcam message from a four later viewer via fourlater.com forward slash collective. Hi, Connie Lingus and Chris together for the first time on the collective. Uh, he's got something off his chest. Well, I'm a bit concerned about Connie Lingus and her fetish with this cheap rabbi jeans and cool dog and jolly. Connie, come on, tell me how do you feel about it. Well, apart from his huge mobile phone, um, he's the only man that makes me get through several pairs of pants a day, and no mobile phone has ever measured up. Do not sleep, do not sleep. The Troma team are up to their usual hijinks and humour next in Troma's Edge TV, which contains nudity and strong language. Now another webcam message from a four later viewer via fourlater.com forward slash collective. Now another webcam message from a four later viewer via fourlater.com forward slash collective. Well, I don't know about any other blokes out there, but I know this much. I was very happy to see Alex Kroski out of bits on the Celebrity Collective last week. I'll tell you, she stood there with her white dressing gown and they slowly filmed down and you could see her body. She said her breasts were real. How happy I was, like many. It's a shame her dressing gown didn't fall open. Bollocks. Still, you can't win them all, can you? Do not sleep, do not sleep, do not sleep. Four later viewers host the next few hours via their webcams and the collective website. If you're interested in putting yourself on four later or you're voyeuristic about other four later viewers, go to fourlater.com forward slash collective now. As usual, the collective contains personal opinions and strong language. The first online community ever to cross over onto television, an ever growing pool of people, each with a webcam and a PC. We create webcam files based on our thoughts, ideas. 
If a webmaster gives us a theme for the week, a concept, we'll make the files. Any duration, any subject. No studio, no script, no rules. TV made by us, about us. Now on for later, we take a look into the world of sci-fi in the first episode of a new series of SF UK. This week, focusing on H.G. Wells's War of the Worlds.